show you how I place my uh, teapots. Okay, this is one of my teapots. And again, I usually fire my lidded pot together with the lid and the body. So, uh, to prevent that uh, lid and body stick together after fire, I usually uh, put the uh, wax resist with the aluminum hydrate mixed together so that after fire they become powdered and it's easy to separate. So here I already have the uh, wax resist mix with the uh, aluminum hydrate. Okay, so I'm going to center my... I usually like to uh, put my pots on the wheel and uh, glaze it, uh, wax it, because uh, that way uh, it's easier for me. Okay, so I put my lid upside down on top of my teapot body and then um, center it. After that, I just carefully brush the uh, wax resist with aluminum hydrate on the rim. Okay, so the rim is done. And then the body. Okay, so this is the one of the teapot, and then my second one, okay. put the lid upside down, and the brush the wax. Down with the lid. Okay, now my third teapot. So, for the lid, the same thing, I'm going to use this apple sucker to suck up the glaze and to pour in the lid. Um, because I have a little hole, as you can see here, so I'm going to use one of my finger to seal it, seal it on the hole. Um, going to uh, just strip the celadon glaze inside just enough to uh, fill up the inside and you don't need to pull it out because uh, you just have enough glaze on the inside okay that's the inside and now for my teapot, uh, as you can see here, see that there's a little, uh, many little holes that 
we're going to feel the, the uh, tea leaves. So usually we have a holes in there. Um, when you put the glaze inside, usually glaze is going to get caught into the holes. So uh, this is the trick I do. I usually uh, brush a little bit of water right by the holes. Okay. It's hard to see here. Okay, brush some water there. So the holes already soak a little bit of water there. Um, the later on, it's not going to absorb lots of glaze. Okay, that's my tip for preventing the glaze get clogged in the uh, holes. Okay, and for the inside of the teapot, you don't need to have a very thick glaze, so you can also dilute it your glaze. Okay, so put a little bit of water there. And now I'm going to pour my uh, celadon glaze inside. And before I do that, I use my thumb to hold here for the spout, hold the spout. Okay, so when I dump out, I'm gonna dump out like that. Okay, um, it's gonna be very quick. Um, after I dump out, I, I blow an air so to push out if there is some residual glaze uh, in the holes, okay? So I'm holding this way. Um, I told you, you don't need to have a whole lot of uh, very thick glaze, so you can dilute it, or you can pull it in, pull in and pull out right away. Okay, pull in. Okay, and pull out right away. Right, and then I turn it upside down, and then I blow air so that uh, maybe it's hard to see. So that uh, I push out the glaze, and uh, the glaze is not gonna stay in the holes. Okay, uh, it's hard to see, but uh, it's there. Okay, I dilute it, and then. I blow out the air, so it, it should be easy. It should be easy. And then if uh, you have uh, some residual uh, glaze right by the rim, you can just sponge it off. Okay, so that's the uh, inside glaze. Okay, well my second one, Second lid. Okay, pour enough salad on glaze. Just go around and around. Let the clay body soak the glaze. And you don't need to pour out. Okay, just go loop around. And the glaze stay in there. Okay. Uh, again, my third lid. So the glaze stay in there, it's not going to drip. Okay. Again, some water for the body inside of the holes, right by the filter. So some water and then hold the spout. 
or in the glaze. Not too thick, so pour it in and then you want to pour out right away. And straight up and let that go of your hand. And then I blow air too. Uh, it's hard for you to see, but uh, uh, yeah, it's it's clear, okay? Um, that just sponge it off. Okay, my third teapot. Brush some water. Right by the, the little filter holes. Okay, enough. Hold it right here. Pour in the glaze. Alright, go around a little bit so that I have the glaze inside. And then pull out straight up. And then Blow air. Okay. Um, some of the glaze that it's right by the rim you can just wipe it off. So this three pieces teapot. This one I will have a little bit more. Uh, uh, decoration going on since I have uh, a lot of texture on the lid and also right by the shoulder and the bottom. So, this three part is where I'm going to put some underglaze. So, I'm going to apply uh, orange on the glaze on the lid of my teapot. And now I'm gonna put a different color, turquoise color, on the base over. This is the uh, surface that I kind of blend to under glazes together. And then I'm going to put the wax here to coat it too, so that when I dip in the glaze, the uh, glaze will not uh, stick on my uh, textures.
the surface was coated by the wax, so it's been protected. Um, I'm gonna wait till the wax dry. This time I'm gonna apply the uh, underglaze on my texture on my teapot body, this part here, and also on the, sho on the shoulder. So this is the bottom. So this is it. On the, I will wait till the wax completely dry and then try to dip it in the glaze, which I will show you later.
for this tea part, I'm just going to put my underglaze on the lid only and uh, use some kind of glaze that will show thick and thin. Yeah, same thing. I'm just applying the underglaze on the lid for this teapot. And then I, what I just did is put in the uh, wax resist to cover it. So later on when I dip it in the glaze, uh, the glaze will not uh, stick on my uh, texture. So when it's ready, I will show you. All the uh, wax has been dried, I'm ready to dip my teapot into the glaze. And this time I'm choosing a uh, blue color. It's called Anne's Blue. Um, since I have uh, lots of uh, texture on my surface, and this glaze shows the texture very well. So, just a little residual glaze on here, and it's easy to clean up. And just uh, sponge it off easily. Because the wax, I have been waiting for two days, so the uh, wax is completely dry. Again, for the uh, bottom of my teapot, I'm using this, sucking up a little bit of a glaze and just fill it in. And you don't need to pull it out, just uh, fill in enough. Okay.
So it's the, the wax breaks very well, it's quite clean. And maybe you just use a little knife to scrape it up a little bit. Okay, my other teapot. And also this one has lots of uh, chattering marks, so I'm also choosing this glaze. A little bit on the bottom. Okay, my third teapot.
I now can punch uh, the uh, air hole that was filled with the glaze when I glaze inside. So I need to clean up a little bit here. So the hole is clean. So one T bar down. Punch it up a little bit. So this, this is it, the uh, demonstration of uh, glazing three teapots. And uh, I will show you the, the result at the fire. And uh, I told you, I glaze inside salad down and uh, put the uh, underglaze on my texture. And then I dip it in the uh, blue color, which will show the, the texture very well. So we will see. Thanks for watching. Okay, here you can see that, that these three teapots are the result that I show you for the uh, glazing demonstration. And uh, this is one of it. I put the uh, underglaze on the lid and also by the shoulder and on the bottom. Uh, let me show you uh, how it falls before I show you the inside. Okay, okay this is how it falls. Okay, uh, and it stopped right there. Because I'm holding the hole, I'll let go, release, and stop. Okay. So this is one of the result, one of the teapot. The bottom is on the glaze by my chattering texture. And on the shoulder and on the lid and this is the inside okay so this is one of the result of the teapot and that's the second one same thing that I put the uh, on the glaze on my lid um, the inside salad down. It's fire firing in oxidation, so the salad down didn't, didn't turn out like greenish color. Instead, it turned out yellowish. 
uh, okay, there's no water, but uh, it should be the same because the lid is very tight. The lid is very tight. Okay. Um, this is the third one. A uh, little bit texture here that maybe is very hard for you to see, but uh, this glaze shows the texture. Um, again, the saddle down inside. Um, the under glaze by the lid. Um, this tiny, small teapot. Teapot. Three teapots. Okay, thanks for watching.